Hey guys, it's Sarah from Teen Actors Lab and the College Audition Program. What determines what's gonna make something a good monologue for college auditions? And where do you find these monologues? I do go into really, really great detail and depth about choosing material and I, material, and I really help you do that in my online course, The College Audition Program, which you should all check out if you have auditions, these college auditions in your future. But this post will definitely give you uh, some of the get started steps. First, how many should you prepare? First thing you should do if you, if you know is to double, triple check all of the school's requirements, um, the schools you know you're applying to, and make sure that you're gonna completely cover your bases. If you don't actually have your complete target list of schools yet, maybe try looking at the sites of some schools you know about that you, you may apply to, schools with great programs that you've heard of, just to start to get a sense of what kinds of things these schools are asking for. And that'll give you a place to start. Then I usually recommend that you aim to prepare five monologues, two contemporary that are contrasting, two classical, uh, you can do one Shakespeare and one other classical writer, and you want, you know, those to contrast as well, and, and then one other contemporary that you love. You may think this goes without saying, but <laughs> look for characters that you could actually play. No Lady M, no Tevya. To be fair, I've never actually had a student try to do Tevya, but the thought of it kind of cracked me up. So could you be cast in this material right now? Could you play it? Is it age appropriate, right? So, so think about the age, but then beyond that, also look at how challenging is this material? How difficult is it? Um, and while it's really great to work on challenging material, there's going to be some stuff that you might not quite be ready to do yet, and that's not the best material to choose for your college auditions. Wait to work on Streetcar until then. Trust me on this one. Look for monologues that are active. What do I mean by that? What, what makes a monologue active? Make sure that the material is a piece where the character is really trying to do something. There's a lot of pieces out there where the characters are sort of pondering or telling a story about something that happened to them and the, the, the need, the want, is not that clear and it's not that important in that moment. So really look for something where they're trying to make something happen. For example, they're trying to befriend someone, right, and the, the stakes are really high, or they're trying to find love, or they're trying to convince someone of something important. Something like this that, that is obvious to you when you read it. They really, they really want this thing, and they're trying to, to get it. Remember that your material selection really says something about you. When you do a monologue for college auditions, you are communicating something about yourself to the adjudication panel. You communicate taste, right? The taste in material. You communicate the kinds of characters and stories that you were drawn to. Um, they may also ask you how you found that material. And, you know, it'll be interesting to see what your answer is. Is it because, you know, you, you googled monologues for teen girl? <laughs> or was it because you saw this play and it changed your life. So you looked up the writer and then you read a bunch of plays by that same writer because you were so excited about that style of writing and then you found this monologue. Um, you know, that says something about you. You know, even, even where I know a lot of acting coaches and I do this too, we help our students find material. There is nothing better than you really falling in love with a play or a writer and and really wanting to tell a story. And of course, I know you're all waiting for this one. Where do you find these plays? You're looking right now, you're probably online searching. You may or may not love this answer, but the number one best way, especially when you got a little time, is to see a lot of plays, to read a lot of plays. So that's the first. Um, and you can use Google to find out, to, to search for plays with themes that you're interested in. Go to the library, read plays at the library, find the kinds of writers you're drawn to. Um, I do have a really great list of resources for finding material inside the College Audition Program, but one of my favorite uh, resources on that list 
is the Samuel French website. And I don't know when they redid it, but at some point they made their search feature really, really awesome. And they made it so you can search plays by all kinds of different themes. You can get super specific. Um, you can actually search, I'll, I'll sometimes search plays that were produced off Broadway or that were Tony award winning. There's little you know, boxes you can tick for that. And you can also get age specific on that one. On some of the other sites you can't, but on Samuel French you can get age specific about the, the roles you're looking for. Um, so if you're scrambling and it's a little last minute, that site really might help you. And then of course, you can ask your coaches and your drama teachers for suggestions, the people that also know, know you and know your work. But truly, and believe me on this, there is nothing better than discovering material on your own really being the artist, you know, and seeking out pieces with stories and characters that you're truly moved to tell, right? Doing that will not only give you these incredibly rich performances, but they might actually just change the world a little bit in that moment. <laughs> and that's kind of the whole point, isn't it? For super in-depth college audition prep and for a sort of virtual hand-holding through the whole process, I'd love for you to dive into the college audition program with me. I don't want you to not get into your dream school because of a few things you could have prepared for. And of course, as always, hit me up if you have any questions. Happy monologuing, guys.